many cities are becoming more increasingly attractive for black or African-American individuals and families seeking new opportunities, culture, or a more supportive community. In this video, I review thriving destinations and cities African-Americans are moving to this year. Mostly it's all about fitting in when it comes to moving or migrating into a different culture. Will these destinations have a problem with black people or mixed race families moving into their neighborhood? How is their job market, the educational institutes appropriate for kids? These are genuine questions people want to know before permanently deciding to relocate into another destination. However, because most destinations are overly exaggerated all over social media, I figured the best way to give you this information was to find out which cities African Americans have been moving to over the last five years. Of course, if the influx of migration over there is high, we can assume these destinations are friendly for African Americans and mixed race families. These destinations are shaping up to be prime spots that offer diverse opportunities across various industries such as technology, finance, entertainment, and more. My name is your heritage, I travel and explore, I share exciting experiences while at the same time bringing you helpful videos like this one, so let's get into it. Number 10, Paris, France. France is called a city of light for a reason. With the world's largest art museum, the Louvre Museum, there's also the Eiffel Tower, of course. It's not surprising, the most searched attraction in Google is Disneyland Paris, with over 1 million searches a month. Now, France has historically been described as a haven for African Americans, having officially described itself as a colorblind society following the abolition of slavery in 1794. African Americans have migrated to France often to escape the frequent racism in the United States. France does not collect information about race or ethnicity in their census, making it impossible to even determine how many African Americans are currently in the country. I mean, I've, there's definitely like prejudice and racism everywhere but i feel like in france it's a lot more subtle like it's still definitely there but it french people are so hush hush about race and they want to pretend like oh no like we don't see we don't see color yeah like, that's, you're just you're just french yeah you're just french but that's not true like yeah. there's still racist people in france it's mm -hmm. just very more in the states it's like more obvious i feel like than yeah. it is here okay so like racism here versus in america how do you feel like do you feel safer here i definitely feel safer here yes mm -hmm. i haven't had like i said it's not as overt so i mean i'm sure i've been judged by people or like i've come in contact with racist people but it's not something that you would ever really notice yeah. unless you were like actively looking for it exactly. you know? i don't know honestly i feel like i get more racism in america but I feel like in America, more black people are more unified as one. Like if you see a black person on the street, like you're gonna smile at them and you're gonna be like, we're brothers and sisters. Yeah. Like, you know, like when I see a black person in America, I'm like, like, exactly. What's up? Number eight. Tokyo, Japan. Talk about a country that can infuse both tradition and modernity. Japan does this flawlessly. With the beautiful tourist destinations and breathtaking historical sites, Japan is known for being safe, incredibly clean, and a passion for the arts. What's it like uh, living in Japan as a black person? Okay. Uh, first of all, a lot of times I forget what color I am because uh, Japanese people are not outwardly racist, thank God. Mm. And um, so I often forget what color I am. But in, in any case, um, I've had many more positive experiences. Mm. In, in fact, Japanese people give, give me more positive qualities or more superstar qualities than I have. Like they think I can definitely play, play basketball or they think I'm probably a good singer mm. or they think I'm somehow athletically blessed or something. Yeah, that's kind of like... <laughs> positive stereotype. Yeah, positive stereotype Japanese have towards you know, black people, right? Yeah, and that's good. Mm. Um, the more you interact with Japanese people and you enter their social circle, the more they treat you like one of them. There are certain social rules that you have to accept. Japanese society is based on a lot of social rules. Mm. And even a Japanese person who doesn't behave in the way that is, mm. is expected, even they will be rejected. I believe there is a saying that the, yeah. the nail that sticks up gets hammered down. Mm. So the best thing you can do in Japan is try not to stand out in a bad way. And if you just behave like Japanese people, then you'll be accepted. But not like you're mimicking them, because then that's, that's another, different. that's a that's totally different, different thing. Uh -huh accepting the unspoken social rules. So th things like taking off your shoes before you go inside, things like wearing a mask if you have a cold, don't talk loudly on the train for the love of God. I'm the only foreigner who lives in my 
apartment complex and I wondered why they accepted me. I remember back when I was signing a contract with a real estate agency, mm. I heard her saying on the phone to the owner, oh. and then I was wondering, Nihonjin Poi, is it me, my face, or what? But then Your I realized, behavior, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Japanese people accept you if you behave just like them, but in fact, you're a guest in the country, so you should behave better. Now, as far as black culture is concerned, many Japanese people are seen to participate in the culture, the breeze, the locks, the African-American slang. I've had a, I haven't had any negative experiences in terms of my racial identity, because in my opinion, Japanese are very welcoming mm. and even the stares that you get it's not it's not malicious mm. it's uh, people are just curious, curious. Sure. Oh. Mm. yeah so <laughs> if you look at it in that way because if it's not something you see every day so when you see someone different of course you're, you're going to be curious so sure. it's not something malicious and and people are friendly there have been so many cases where um, I've been helped yeah, by so many times, yeah, so, so many times. <laughs> I've, I've been helped by strangers by Japanese and I think that is something that I'm really grateful for. And the country itself, the systems, they have systems in place to help foreigners. Yeah, so any, any black person out there who's watching your channel and wants to come here, I don't think there's any reason to worry. Mm. Yeah, because Japan is very welcoming, in my opinion. Moving on in number seven, we have Cape Town, South Africa. Many African-Americans moving to South Africa find that their money goes a long way. The cost of living is much cheaper than the first world countries, making it possible to enjoy a higher standard of living for much less. Also, for those lovers of fine dining and wine, South Africa is definitely the place. Inland safari destinations, beautiful beaches and landscapes. South Africa is home to many different nationalities and you can see that influence in their food, the housing styles as well as its people. Now, they are welcoming people and really embrace visitors and new residents no matter their color. Now, they will also welcome you with open arms and tell you about the pluses and minuses of living in South Africa. Yes, South Africa is the real Africa. And here's why. Culture. Culture is everywhere in this country, whether you're in the city of Johannesburg or not. Yes, the culture is in the villages, in the rural areas, but it's also very much in the city. And I felt very connected to a culture, which is a thousand percent why I chose South Africa as home. Um, but culture is the number one reason why people decide to migrate to a place, whether they know it or not, right? Some people will migrate for career. Some people will migrate for uh, community, as I mentioned. But culture tends to be the reason why people migrate and stay. Like any other country, South Africa does have some negative points such as security. Now, you should be vigilant and aware as you would in any other country in the world. Sports lovers will love living in South Africa. Cricket, rugby, soccer, Schools spend every afternoon on sporting activities so kids grow up in a sporting culture. Now, if you love surfing, South Africa's coastline is great for surfing and it's a sport enjoyed by many. Number six, London, England, the city that blends history and modernity. Now, the United Kingdom has become one of the most ethnically diverse and multicultural cities in the world. The black population of London is noticeably concentrated in South London. Britain offers essential services in healthcare, education, and public services while also offering diverse job markets due to most employers' value for a more multicultural workforce. Now, you can also find various opportunities in various industries as well. Now, one of the things I love about Britain is that they have this anti-discrimination laws in place to protect the rights of people from different backgrounds, ensuring kind of like an equal treatment and opportunities. The quality of life in Britain is high with access to healthcare, education, social services, making it an attractive destination for many African Americans. And finally, the number one thriving destination for African Americans this year, Accra, Ghana. Ghana is a country that has spearheaded the integration of African Americans in the diaspora to return home with the Year of Return initiative. As we speak, Ghana is working to implement a visa-free policy to allow Africans to travel to the country without the hassle of acquiring visas, proving how much the country wants to see foreigners visit the motherland and in the long run decide to settle in. It's not also surprising to see many black Americans purchase landed properties, start businesses and reunite with long lost relatives in their motherland. At least 1,500 African Americans have moved to Ghana since 2019. So if your expectation is to experience Africa and the culture, soak it all in while also exploring the landscapes and the beauty of the country's tourist sites as well as the welcoming people, look no further. It is Accra Ghana. Thanks for joining me in this video. I hope you are inspired to also explore these incredible destinations. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to the channel for more exciting travel content. 
Until next time, my name is Rohiti, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.